Hi, my name is Florent Farge and today we're going to talk about mixing dark colors and especially how you can create this black dress without using any black paint. So this video is going to be a follow-up to my first video, my previous video on flash tones. I suggest you go watch it if you haven't because you need to know about value, hue and chroma. So a reason why many artists uh, have gotten rid of black paint um, is that it has a tendency to make colors muddy. So to put it differently, when you expect black to just make the values darker, uh, it doesn't just do that. It also changes the hue and it drops the chroma dramatically. Actually, the thing is that the pigment used to make black paint is not a perfect absence of color like the definition of black. Most pigments used to make black paint are just not perfectly neutral. It is actually closer to some kind of very dark and very low chromatic blue. So if you understand this and if you consider black more as a very dark low chromatic blue you start to understand why it can make colors muddy. We'll take an example mixing with uh, a cadmium orange. So as you can see, when I mix this cad orange with titanium white, it doesn't change too much the character of this orange, even though this white might make it a little bit more neutral. But as soon as I mix it with ivory black, you can see how much more greenish it becomes uh, because the bluish component of the ivory black mixes with the yellowish component of this cadmium orange to create some kind of green character to this color so it completely changes the feeling of the color so generally mixing warm colors with black is not a good idea because to compensate for the cooling down effect, you have to use so much more warm colors that uh, it's kind of a waste. If you want to mix a warm color, just choose a dark color that is in the warm range, like burnt umber or burnt sienna. But on the other hand, black pigments are perfectly suited to mix blue colors or even cool colors because they kind of are in the same range on the same side of the color wheel. If you want to get rid of black and create your own black, you can do that pretty easily. What you need is two pigments that are on the opposite side of the color wheel. If you've seen my first video, you remember that uh, complementary colors create a neutral mix. So this is what you're looking for. But you're looking for very dark and transparent complementary colors. A mix that works really well for that is ultramarine blue and burnt umber. This mix is really great because you can uh, control if you want to make it more bluish or more brown. But to show you that you can create black with any complementary dark transparent colors, I'm going to show you a mix that is not so common, which is dark green earth and uh, burnt carmine. So this is pretty uncommon for mixing black, but you can still have fun and be creative. And um, the most important thing is that you can stick to the rest of your color gamut. You can really keep colors and even the darkest colors all in the same range by controlling this.
So all these mixes do not create uh, blacks that are as intense and as dark as let's say a normal ivory black but the benefit is that you can really control the color make it cooler or warmer you can really create your own color and bring variety in your mixes so you have something less intense but you have more control over it Again, even if you know that you have these alternatives, it doesn't mean that you need to get rid of black. In fact, you can be pretty creative even with black pigments. And don't forget that you can add some transparent pigments to bring more variety to your black and create a black which will have some transparent effects. This is not something that people are going to really see, but it will make a difference. And it is always good to know, and it's always good to play around with colors like this. So if we transfer what we've learned to mixing flesh tones, you can understand why a black is not suited for this kind of thing. Because flesh tones are usually more orange than anything else, uh, black, of course, is on the wrong side of the color wheel. So it will create some muddy colors. So on my palette, when I'm only mixing flesh tones, I don't necessarily have black, which doesn't mean that I uh, don't have black and I, that I don't use it ever just means that I only use it if I need to uh, go very very dark and if I need something uh, of a cool nature. Even though this is not the subject of this video I can talk about how I mix the lightest tones. Uh, I usually start with a base of, of white and I start polluting it with the rest of my colors. So here this is burnt sienna or burnt umber, a little bit of alizarin, a little yellow ochre. And uh, I start uh, polluting the white more and more with colors as I go. Um, there's no real trick. It's, it's all about mixing and finding the relations between the colors and seeing what needs to be done a little bit more white. Sometimes I pick a little bit of color from another stack to reinforce uh, the next one. So basically this is the, the ID for the lightest tones. So as I go darker, I start adding more and more burnt umber. For the mid-tones, I use almost no white at all, basically. Just a little touch is enough to create something that has the value that I desire. So now I get to my two darkest colors, which is where I need my black. But this uh, burnt umber is not enough, it's not good enough. So I'll add uh, ultramarine blue and basically I am creating my own black right now. I don't need uh, some black pigment, I create it and I add some colors to it to bring variety. So far I don't want to make this too black so I'm gonna just pollute it a little bit 
with some opaque colors. Opaque colors always pollute uh, transparent dark colors and make them uh, a lot lighter. So right now this is a dark color and if I want to make my very darkest color I'm gonna be very careful not to pollute it. So no white is supposed to touch this color. I'm creating my black and adding variety. All right, now it's way too chromatic. So I will just add more neutral black, which is equal parts ultramarine and burnt amber to make it more neutral, less chromatic. And see this black is probably as dark as it can go, but for skin tones, there's no real need to go any darker. So to conclude, black is a great color. It's a very useful color. It's just a matter of understanding how it works. And if you understand that it is on the cool side of the color wheel, you won't have any problem with it. And um, if you need, you have the alternatives. You can create your own black and you can bring variety in all the different black pigments. So right now, black should not be a problem for you anymore. If you like this video, please consider subscribing or leaving a like. Uh, don't hesitate to leave your questions in the comment section below. And uh, if you really liked and want to support my work, you can go visit my TP profile and help me by giving a contribution to my work. Um, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, have fun painting.